Okay, so I'm here in quarantine with my ugly hands and not my hands, just my nails. <laughs> um, my husband got me a bunch of like blind box, they're, now they're blind box, <laughs> like uh, sets. Wait, let's back up here. Let's back up a second. Okay, felt like we were very close. <laughs> Okay, a bunch of um, sets of photo cards and trading cards, things that I liked when I was younger, and one of them threw in all these like little extras of um, card sets. So we have some Hunchback of Notre Dame here, we have this blondie one, we have a little bit of Anastasia. There's some like random ones in here, these little like kid looking ones. Okay, but anyways, I'm very interested in this pack, which is not something that I saw growing up or anything, but it is Heroines of Science Fiction and Fantasy, and it says adult oriented, and I'm so interested to see what's in here, so we're gonna open it together. Rob Miller, Lisa Mark, the unique brand of which, so I'm thinking Rob. Miller is the artist. Really, I just love to like savor the experience of opening these. <laughs> and this one has like such a nice slick thin wrapper. It's so nice. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I've never gotten artwork cards, so I'm really excited. I do have a friend who has had some and shown me some, not of this series, but just like kind of more professional art in general geared towards adults and it was very cool. So I am excited to see what I got. Whoa, okay. Is this a, so I'm, I guess it's a painting, but it's um, almost photorealistic, especially like the costume here. I feel like it's very like Star Wars feel. <laughs> um, the background especially. So that's really cool. These are nice thick cards. And then so in the back, it does give you like artist information and a little bit about the piece. It looks like a little bit about the subject. So it looks like it's from um, actual literature. I'm sorry, right here, that's where I should be. <laughs> okay, so these. Okay, so this is the second card we've got. Um, so this one has like a little bit of armor kind of a little more like medieval style. I really like this part in the background where it's just like a little kind of spooky little wicked night sky. Um, same feel to it. I mean, I guess it's, I think it's all going to be the same artist, but it just looks so strange to me because it looks like a photo. Like this one, especially here, looks like a photo or even like here, but I think it's all painting. Like, I can see it in the face that it's a painting, but it's so tough for me to really accept that this whole thing is a painting. It's, that would, that's just a flawless style. Really impressive. I like the color palette on these. The style on these is not so much mine, but I do like the color palette and it's just very talented and a really cool thing to look at. Same thing, we've got some information on the back of that one. Okay, so this is more my style. <laughs> this is the first nude <laughs> card. And I feel like same thing here. It's um, just some parts of it look very photorealistic. But very cool. This is <laughs> also just so sci-fi because there's like this giant bee here. Um, and then some other bugs or something going on over here. Dragonfly, we got a lot of different skills going on here. Um, but you know, obviously a little bit of a nice looking card. I feel like this set comes with quite a few too, so um, 
That's nice. Whoa, this car is crazy. <laughs> this looks like the Cats 2019 <laughs> CGI movie. <laughs> that did not go great. It totally looks like that. Very costumey. Crazy, kind of like trippy colors. Um, super, super interesting. I'd be curious to know what this was from. Tigerishka. All alone inside her flower line spaceship. Tigerishka or something? The alien cat woman threatens the very existence of Earth and Perceiver Cylinder. Super cool. <laughs> very, very, very interesting. Okay, so we've got another adult card here. Um, this one's style does look super, super different. I just am surprised that these are like the same artists. Or are they? Let me do a quick double check. Yeah, Ron Miller. So the background on this one is really, really kind of cool and interesting textured. It looks very kind of CGI'd, but these are from what, 1994? 1994, so I don't even remember what was possible back then. I don't think digital art was very common, so I don't know. Oh, this one's really cool. Okay, I really like this one because it has a really nice feminine feel and also very like flowy, but super cool robotic interpretation. I think that's very cool, super interesting. And oh, I'm sorry, maybe you wanted to see the backs of these cards. Um, here's the back of that one, if you would like to read it. <laughs> this one's very cool. We've got, it looks like a little like war scene. And she's like battle scarred. This is very nice. I really like this. I really like just the overall smooth, beautiful texture of this guy's art. I really hope this was all in focus. <laughs> um, hopefully it is now. Here's the back of this one. Here's this card. Looks like we're almost, I think the next one is the last one. And, you know, I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of, like, knowledge about these cards or anything. Oh, there's one hiding. But it was just something I happened into, and I thought it would be so interesting to see what was inside. Cross flower and thorn. Look at this dated hair. <laughs> this creature is very interesting. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like this guy's style. I like what he was about. And the last one. This is a very Fantastic Four looking costume here. And this is... Especially because her arm is so long. <laughs> um, some kind of gross little beast over here. Interesting background for this fight to be taking place. Very cool. All of them very clearly different fantastical worlds that this guy dreamed up. So that is very awesome, very creative, super interesting, just a nice little fun thing to busy my mind during quarantine. I hope you enjoyed sharing that with me. 